What's up you guys? So we just got home from a little bit of brunch. We did grocery shopping, went to Michael's, we went to Chapters, got a bunch of different things. And today I am basically resetting, recalibrating post Disney, post cruise, and getting back into the swing of things. So between setting up a workout routine, habit tracking, all of that good stuff, doing some healthy groceries. So you're gonna be a part of it all. I'm also finalizing a little bit of summer decor and some big projects that I'm working on. So you're gonna be a part of the whole thing, but I'm gonna go put away the groceries and show you everything that I got. So come with me. Okay, the last time I left you when I was at this house, I think I mentioned this, I needed a third lantern because there's three candles and things in sets of three look way better. Also, do you know how good it is to come home to a finalized bar cart and decor, decor <laughs> decorations that are up? I love the little birdhouse, it's so cute. So this is what I was thinking because I have these candles come in a set of three. I need to get three more because I got other lanterns for outside. This is what Michaels does. It's buy one, get one. So I'm like, well, we can't just get one lantern. We're missing out. And Andre's like, okay. So he's like, do you want to get like flowers, a plant? I'm like, no, we should get more lanterns. So we got lanterns for outside. So this is what I was thinking like this. I'm just going to cut this off. And now these candles fit perfectly. So I will link these, but I just thought they were so cute, like as a boho type of look. And I'll show you what they look like at night. They were featured in my other vlog, but I love it. Oh, are you bringing, you didn't have to. Andre's bringing up the grocery bags. He's gonna clean the car. We're doing like a full recalibration is what I said. A recalibration of returning home. Of our life, getting our life together post cruise. This was a gift for me and you forgot to bring it? Yeah, it was in the hockey bag. Babe, this looks like it went to war. Maybe it did. So we got a lot of stuff to do like mocktails. We got some less than healthy snacks, but this is, this popcorn is amazing. I think it's jalapeno, white cheddar jalapeno. Amazing. All of the veggies. I thought this would be cool for mocktails. Juicing, best dressing. Oh, that's so sweet. The cashier like put rubber bands around everything so that nothing would like open. Cottage cheese, fresh pasta, yogurt. I'm gonna make like a summer, a summer dessert. Probably not tonight, but maybe later this week. But basically I'll just give you the recipe. It's very easy. You do yogurt all different berries. I got strawberries also, rinse them and chop them up and sprinkle it over top. And then a little bit of brown sugar or coconut sugar. And then the sugar like melts into the whole thing. And you just, the trick is to let it sit for a long time. You can also, I think my brother does it with maple syrup. My brother is basically Buddy the Elf and puts maple syrup on everything though. More popcorn. My favorite. We're gonna do mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms with our steaks. We got, I'm missing a grocery bag. Oh, it's over there. Peppers. We just got a ton of veggies. Broccoli. Cucumbers to juice and also have as snacks. Really nice pasta sauce, super good. Basil pasta sauce. Berries, local Ontario berries. Okay, I thought this would be good for mocktails. It's blueberry juice, love blueberries. Wild rice to have tonight with our salmon. Celeries to juice. Also, when I was decorating for, when I was decorating for summer, I was saying I couldn't find this, I just found it. It was like tucked away in the back of our basement. All the bananas. How cute was the is the monkey over the bananas? The best. My biggest, can I tell you, my reset meal. When I get back from travel and I just want like a healthy, really good meal, salmon on the grill, wild rice, broccoli. Amazing. And I will eat this entire salmon. And this is a, I got like $12 pieces of salmon that are, and that's not a flex, I'm just saying. I'm more flexing that I can eat it all. But it's huge. It's like a massive piece of salmon. I freaking love salmon. So one is for one night and then one is probably for tomorrow night. Andre got a bajillion eggs. Okay, by the way, the eggs, I always see this posted. They're not as expensive in Canada. At least they weren't like, I just don't want it to look like, oh, it's about a million eggs and they're like really expensive right now. They're not crazy here. So I don't know where you guys are shopping. Maybe it's in the States, but that it's not, maybe Andre will know the answer. Steak, steak, <laughs> maybe these are for Andre. Oh, we're also gonna grill some chicken one night and then we wanted to do some baked potato on the grill too. It's grilling season. Corn on the cob, which is like the most summer thing ever. So we are set for the week. So I'm gonna put all this away. I'm also going to, one thing I do also when we return home is I clean out the fridge, wipe it down, clean it up, just make it beautiful. So the other thing that I needed was a mouse pad. So I got my new computer. It arrived when we got to Florida. So I didn't have it at this house and I didn't realize I didn't have a mouse pad. I thought this was perfect. Just as Andre was saying in the story, he's like, they don't have mouse pads. This one like walked up on us. And I was like, that's perfect. And then I got a matching because I spilled water all over my other one. I got a matching sketchbook to all of like 
the goals and dreams and ideas and designs for future projects, if you know, you know, um, will go in that one sketchbook. So that was the idea with, if you saw, I did it in another hall. I had gotten a green sketchbook and water went all over that. My Dream Life Blueprint, my planner. I saved the Dream Life Blueprint and I saved the planner. And I did not save the computer. Don't ask me why. It was terrible. So the, the computer did not make it at all. All right, so this morning I realized there was a slight flaw in my amazing, although amazing, slight flaw in my tiered tray. All of the mugs are in use. We need mugs that we can actually use. So we had to go buy more mugs. I love those mugs. Also, you need one of these. I know the Stanley tumblers are like all the rage, but the Stanley coffee press, like I bet you the coffee in there is still hot and it's from hours ago. Okay, so now we have two green, two blue, two pink. Got the Nemo area music going with me. It's very soothing. Like we are in a mode of cleaning, restoring, forget our lives. I'm doing a fresh habit tracker and I'm actually gonna go live every single day with it and do like a three to five minute, I mean, knowing me, it might be a little bit longer, like top 10 minutes a day, but for 21 days straight of habits. It is so weird coming home to like a full sunny, I'm used to coming home in the winter with snow. It's sunny, it's summer. You know what else I need to do, which you might be a part of? I need to make sure that the hot tub slash pool is up and running and not green. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that that's always a full drama. So I am also going to set up my planner today and my goals. I'm also gonna wash my hair because everybody knows how much of a situation that is. I'm going to meditate and journal. I'm going to do a workout. I'm setting up, I want to say like a, f I was going to say four weeks, probably eight week workout plan for myself. So I'm going to do that, map out my, my month. It's a lot, a lot to do. It's going to be good. We've got this. Okay. Let's stock the fridge. Do you want your pre-workout? I put my, my roller in the fridge and it feels divine. Do you want to try? Lovely though. I don't like it that much. Magoo. Can't win them all. feels really good actually. I organized everything. I threw out everything that was expired. That always happens. Sometimes it's shocking. You're like, oh, wow. Tried to categorize things by like juices, condiments, dressings, drinks are down here, maple syrup, as we do. I tried to organize these as best I could. These little containers, dividers are so perfect and they fit the fridge perfectly. And then same for the drawer divider. So I put all of our meats up here, some veggies, and this way I can see everything because I feel like when I can't see it, it doesn't get eaten. And then this has like, this is the spot where I put like deli meats and bacon and stuff like that. Did some cheese in here, extra butter, that type of thing. So it's very organized right now. It feels good. And then this top shelf, I kind of like slide all the olives and everything up there. Eggs, tzatziki, tons of pickles. Why do we have so many pickles? I don't know. And then what I want to do is tackle the drawers, pantry, all of that. But Andre's just finishing up his workout. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my pre-workout and while he's finishing up, I'm gonna drink my pre-workout. This was a question I got the other day was, do I actually like drink my pre-workout like I was supposed to 20 minutes before? Usually, yeah. So I usually will drink it about 20 minutes before, set up my music, game plan for my workout, let Andre finish up his. So it gives me the 20 minutes to get my 
get my pump on, which is literally what this is called, nitric oxide pump. And it's Ninja Turtles, not sponsored. The amount of you that are like, Disney should pay you and Ghost should pay you. I'm like, yeah, I would love a partnership. I would even just take free product or to be associated, like I love it. So anyways, I'm gonna take this and then I'm going to bring, I wiped off the bubble bath that was in Andre's hockey bag. It smells good now. I'm gonna put that upstairs. I already unpacked from yesterday, so that that's something I hate doing that, like leaving my luggage packed. How long does it take you to unpack? It usually takes me way too long, like the luggage just sits on the floor. So that was done yesterday, finished my book. So good, so good, the housemaid. Mm. And a lot of you were asking, is it better than Silent Patient? I would say yes, but also Housemaid wasn't spoiled for me. Nobody gave me any spoilers, so we shall see. But I'm keep, and I know that there's a part two and that's, this is now the problem. Everybody knows that I'm reading part two now. Now I'm gonna get spoilers for part two. I'm just gonna read it really, really fast, but I have become a really fast reader on the Kindle. Like I love my Kindle. And I got the, I think it's called avocado green, pistachio green. It's very cute with the, you guys were right. The pop socket, game changer. So I'm gonna do this and get on a really good workout, which is so overdue. I feel like I need to do just a really sweaty, really sweaty epic workout. So I'm gonna hop to that and you're coming with. while you work out, double duty. I think I'm gonna mix these two together. This one smells really good. This one smells like nothing, but is powerful and I don't have that much left. So what I usually do is I kind of brush it through, put a bun on top of my head and I do my workout as I would. And then I take my bath, shower, whatever it is that you do. I always use the bath. I think I've used the shower like twice since we've lived here, but I use the wand. That's a question I get a lot. Like, how do you wash your hair? I use the wand. So I'm gonna do that, but I need a hair mask brush. Store. That's literally, it's a repair and restore routine today. That's ultimately what we're doing. And this thing is really awesome because it, it used, it's like an air pump in it. I used every single drop. This thing is, it's empty completely. That feels good. Okay, I've been sipping on my pre-workout. I really just put like a little bit of water in it so I can actually drink the whole thing. It makes you sweat. So I turned off the air conditioning also. I'm probably gonna open the back door because it's hot outside. We're gonna sweat. I'm wondering if I should add an extra clip in case I decide to spin. I have no idea what I'm doing. Track my workout. Out of the tub super fast because Andre is gone to Muay Thai. He goes whenever he's home and he loves it. So he just left the house and Carl is headed home. 
So I need to be at the door. It's not like she can just leave our dog at the door <laughs> to get out of the tub and get ready. Get ready for the little boy, his arrival. I'm so excited to see him. I missed him like a lot this trip. I usually miss him a lot every trip, but like I try not to think about it. But this time was harder. And every time I mention Carl in a video, people are like, why doesn't he go to Florida with you? It'd be so much easier. Carl and like confirmed from like different vets as well as his trainers, like Carl should never go into an airplane. I think that he just has really, really bad anxiety. And it would probably, he, I joke that he would take, it would be like snakes on a plane, but like Carl on a plane. Or it would, it would probably like shave a couple years off his life or kill him. Like he would just, he would not be able to handle it. And we have tried, we tested the flying medication on him even to like see if we could do it. And the <laughs> meds when the medication wouldn't even calm him down. It was horrible. And also I don't love that idea. So no, we don't fly Carl to Florida. If that's what you're wondering. Cause I, I always see that comment and I try to respond to as many comments as I can, but this is why. So Carl's headed home. I feel like I didn't even need any detangler and this hair is detangling very well. Um, to everybody that like, whenever I do hair videos, people are like, oh, do you ever shed? Yes, I shed like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna dry this on top of my head and we will await the little prince. I was reading a little bit, like chapter one. Chapter one, so far so good. No spoilers. Please, please. Okay, I'm probably gonna do I think I'm gonna do my nails and I'm also gonna prep dinner and get in many, many cuddles. I feel like Carl and I are just gonna hang like right here <laughs> and read. Come on, say you're home. <laughs> you're home! <laughs> you look so handsome with your haircut. Look, Carl. Are you so excited? Here, look. Mr. Orange, Mr. Blue, you want, you want some kibbles? Look, there's some kibbles in here for you. Have fun, do you have fun? Do you want me to take this off for you? You're home now, man. Or you want to eat? There you go. You want the other one off too? You want to be full naked baby? Full naked baby! Full naked baby! You look so handsome! Mm -hmm. Look, you want to say hello? Everybody wants to see you. Everybody wants... Look how little you are. Oh, you are trim. You are trim. Love you too. Daddy's going to be so happy to see you. Do you need to pee? Right to Mr. Blue. Okay, you want to go explore? Let's go see. Oh, outside first? You go outside? Okay. okay. I think I'm going to do this sheet mask. I got this sheet mask in Disney. You wanna light our new candles? Look, Carl, I decorated for summer. Okay, sheet mask is what I was saying. I got this. It's a dry sheet mask. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I think I'm gonna sheet mask it up, read a little bit, and chill. Possibly have a little mocktail moment with some popcorn. That's so nice. It'll be nicer at sunset, but I love this. Three was definitely the right choice. I feel like they need to be spread out a little bit more. I placed an order, and by placed an order, I mean added to my Amazon cart. Do you do this too, where you just have stuff sitting in your Amazon cart for like, long periods of time, I do. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. I added the, I don't think I did. I did this this morning. It feels like ages ago that I did that, but I put my little candles. I asked about these, I think only on Instagram. I don't think I talked about them on YouTube, but they're like little soda pop candles. Oh, I think I shared them in a previous vlog. So I have four little ones. And yes, if you remember me showing them, there was a large one. Orlando TSA was intense to say the least. Like when we go through the Canadian terminal, which is part of Terminal B in Orlando, just for reference, we go through where Air Canada and WestJet like flies to Canada. I've flown home with candles previously. They might open my luggage and look at it. All good, they test it, but you're on your way. Uh, yesterday was like a lot. And I just wanna say, this is the first thing I said to Andre because he was watching me and he's like, are you okay? And I was like, yes, but no, but whatever. Um, and this is just like a real talk moment. I'm not even complaining because I'm over it, but we've talked a lot about on this channel about uh, flying anxiety and I have overcome it with flying colors. But stuff like that to someone that would be very anxious or even someone that wasn't, it's so triggering. Like I don't understand why. And I actually know people at the Orlando airport that work TSA. So I'm not saying that this is everybody. I think that that person either has had a really bad day or 
I think sometimes when people are in that like position of hierarchy, they take advantage of it. And I was, let me just tell you, calm, cool, collected, as friendly as I could be. The lady in front of me like lost her mind on the TSA person and in my head, I'm like, okay, we're not gonna do that because that's not gonna help anything. But I, so what I said to Andre is I've seen videos like on TikTok and reels and whatever of people freaking out at airports when they're being like patted down and whatever, or just like searched. I see why. I'm just gonna say that because, and again, this isn't everybody because I'm literally friends with people that work TSA, but that was insane, like so triggering. So I didn't even care. They took one, the bigger candle, they took it. That's not even like, I literally didn't care. I was like, take it home if you want to, I don't care. But they made it seem like I was a complete flight risk. And then they said, we have to do additional screening. And let me, I'll just keep it short because it might be triggering. Because I said to Andre, this would be so triggering to someone that's gone through like some trauma. The pat down was less than ideal. And if it would have been a man, I would have screamed bloody murder. That's how bad it was. So I'm just sharing it because if you've gone through this, like just say something because I think it's ridiculous that just because someone is in like a position of hierarchy, like the TSA person might be having a bad day or might just be like trying to go really fast or just might want to have some fun and mess with you a little bit. Cause that's honestly what it felt like. And I am in a position where I can say nothing cause they will literally pull me off my flight. So I just feel like it's crappy that that happened. So if that's happened to you, my heart goes out to you. Cause it was really not fun. And for someone that like used to, I used to be so nervous to fly and I've actually canceled flights in the past. And I felt like that it almost like awakened it. Anyways, little real talk, heart to heart moments. I need to share it and very transparent. So if you've been through it, it sucks. All I'll say, got on the plane, but now, now it just kind of, it's less than ideal because every time I look at the candles, I'm like, I'm just reminded of that. Cause they literally had like all four candles and then the big one laid out and they are like, well, we have to do additional screening on the big one. I'm like, well, it, like we, I've already been here for like 25 minutes. So if you do additional screening, I'm gonna miss my flight. So like, you can throw it out if you want to, or take it home, I don't care. And she's like, okay. And I was like, all right. And what was very interesting is the fourth little one, she found it later and was like, yeah, we did the screening and just like tossed in luggage. I was like, honestly, like, I don't know. I get it. Cause it's like a full solid that it could be something, but yeah, my rant over, but it was a lot. All that to say, if you have been through it, I empathize with you and I will tell you how I calmed down because I had to take myself from like a level 10 heart rate to like bring it all the way down and then get on the flight and not be triggered with flying. So one, and I've shared this in flying anxieties before, anxiety videos that I've done before. And I have a couple and they're just really old, but it was literally when I was in like the thick of it or had just overcome it. So I used to not even be able to see clips of planes in movies without it triggering me. I used to dream about flying all the time. Um, or like less than ideal flying situations. Like it was terrible. Here's how, what I did to calm down. Oh my gosh, Carl. Carl, welcome home, buddy. <laughs> You're a lot, man. So I, I, the best thing that I can tell you to do if you don't want to, if, if you obviously want to do it like naturally, not like drink or, or take anything, um, which if you do, do your thing. Like seriously, um, in the thick of it, I, I totally did that. Like I, I went to see a doctor and talked to him about it and I got medication um, and it really helped in the long term. I don't do it anymore, but it really helped. So, or like have a martini if you want to, or a screwdriver or whatever, like if you have to. But if you don't want to do that, just a really good like technical tip that you can do, multitask, like a mofo. So I had head, head buds in, that also, it helps so much if they're noise canceling. So I have noise canceling earbuds and then my headphones are even more noise canceling. I can link the ones I use, they're amazing. But what I was doing is I was playing a familiar show. What was I watching? Like that's how little I was even paying attention to it. It was either, Real Housewives or a movie or, oh, it was Selling Sunset. So it was like reality television light, like not stressful. Do not watch a scary movie or like a thriller. I don't feel like that helps unless that's your thing and that calms you, but it does not calm me. So reality TV, it's like my Zen. So I was watching Selling Sunset and I was reading my book. Amazing. I had so much to focus on that it was like, I couldn't focus on my own heart rate. So I eventually calmed down. And the other thing is try to compartmentalize. So I was feeling like a certain kind of way on takeoff and I was like, Angie, you felt exactly like this on the cruise. And I was like, maybe it's not nerves. Maybe it's nausea from like, I told Andre, I think when I go like this, I'm fine. I'm a champion in a car with motion, but in on the boat on night one, I think I had to like get situated or just used to it. So that's why I shared those bracelets on the cruise that really worked for me. But I think I do the same thing on a plane where like the motion like this, it just doesn't work for me playing with this toy. So yeah, if you go through that, just try and um, multitask. A really good thing that I used to do is do, I would always buy different workbooks. 
I know a really good workbook that you could work on. Um, so that can help, but that's stuff I used to do. I used to watch like Riverdale and work on workbooks and work on my goals and just multitask like a, like a savage. So that's what I would suggest. But anyways, I had to share that because every time I look at these candles now, I'm like, I don't really want them anymore because it was just such a crappy situation. No hate on the Orlando airport though, because it is a phenomenal airport, but I had to share my story. Okay, popcorn mocktail. There's no hook on it. I feel like I'm being punked. Do I just like this? Oh, I see, I see, like this. No. It's a twist off. You know what? Not a blonde hair in sight, so blondes, if you get made fun of, brunettes do it too. It's good. Needs a little something. We're gonna do popcorn. Why does that trigger word? You like the popcorn? What do you think of my tiered tray? Amazing, right? Stunning. It's another toy bug. So every time that we leave for an extended period of time, the ice um, drawer kind of, I don't know, it's almost like it melts and then refreezes and it's all freezer burnt and not accessible. So pretty much every time we come home, it's like one of the things that we do is just empty it out. I don't, I really don't know what to add to this. I, I don't know how to describe it. It almost feels like sweet, like <gasps> alpino juice. That's what it means. That's what you need. You need a little bit of lime and alpino juice. Carl? Oh, oh, you wanna go in there? You wanna see inside? Here, you want me to open your little house? Look, all right, move your, move your body. All right. Oh, sorry. It's not a trap. Here, I'll leave it open for you. I'm a little bit overcommitted on the jalapenos, but it's okay. I know, it's frightening. Let's see if this thing works. I really like that it's reusable. Feels nice. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it feels nice. There's like an oil or something. The sounds of Carl. Daddy's home. I like this part. I like that it lifts. I'm a fan. That was a good purchase. I thought that it was a bit expensive, but I didn't know that you could reuse it. How'd it go? Hello, <laughs> hello. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning. You wanna clean with me? Look at how nice our flowers. Look at that. Oh my gosh, our plants are growing so much since we first moved in. Things are happening. Okay, so we gotta dust all this off. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Andre made steak for himself and he, why am I so zoomed in? Oh, this is, this is, this is, um, intrusive. Oh, look at that. Look at how, look at our skin. There you go. Much better. Right. So we are, we're going to sit on the floor and do that thing we do. Oh, our air purifier is going bananas. It's like on auto. This air purifier is wild, like, but in the best way it works so well. It's on auto right now and it's because we just cooked. That's just on level one. It was going on level three. That thing is incredible and it looks like an iPod. But like the filter literally goes black. Um, also, I Would just wanna like say, yes, I just wanna say our candles, it's setting a vibe. We're watching Love is Blind season two because we went backwards. Today was awesome. My workout was short, but super effective. Loved it. I'm excited for Thursday, which is June 1st. So I'm not sure when this is gonna be uploaded, but it might be around then. Starting fresh tracking, daily grind live on Instagram, lots of stuff happening. You wanna show your, how much hot sauce does one even need? And you're complaining about your nose running from the pepper. It's like a mountain of hot sauce. It's a beautiful specimen. All right, we're gonna sit and watch our show. This is the end of, this was like my getting back into it from a vacay. Washed That's appropriate, hair, yeah. Oh, you washed your did hair. My, yeah, do, do you use your Charlotte Tilbury on your face? Yeah. Good for you. I love that you know that. Does my skin look glorious? It looks good actually, yeah. And you have your skincare? I have my skincare. I can link your skincare. Now. Andre has really good men's skincare. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like day in the lifestyle, let us know down below and let us know what you want to see. And by us, like Andre can be a part of it if you want. I'm everybody, pretty much. Everybody asks you for a day in the life of I'm Andre. I'm pretty much a star.
you're like Carl, just, just a star. Um, but what I am considering pause for reaction is a morning routine. Ooh. I think that, but like a 30 minute morning routine, like 30 minute video morning routine. I think it'd be cool. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. Even I want to see that. Follow on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.